aku pula-pula gengkan alam hamba Mak tu tulung-tulungan gumisingkan Tau nak ang oras para lumaban Huwag kang umatras pag nasa kawiran Panatilihing bukas ang sipan Katotohanan ang ating sandigan Sa katiliman huwag Hello, magandang araw mga kababayan. So bago tayo mag-start dito sa ating topic natin, 'di ba? May gusto ko i-address. 'Di ba? Sino na nakakilala do sa Kiko man? Kiko man yung username. Kasi napag-uusapan namin kagabi sa sa GC, 'no? Itong Kiko man na to, desperadong makuha yung contact number ni Greenmeat. Ay contact number ba or a messenger? or kahit anong uh, way para ma ma-communicate niya in private or basta makausap niya kasi ang pagkakaalam ko dito yung kagabi daw to papakita ko yung ano pinipilit mo daw na makuha yung ano yung contact number ni Ma'am Greenmeat. Wait lang ha. I ano na yung pinasa sa akin screenshot ni ni Master Test. 'Di ba? Ito yung screenshot ng <laughs> yung sa live stream yata to nila Master Test o ni Sir MGH. 'Di ba? So ito 'yon. Ah, uh, nakalagay dito. Pinipilit mo na makuha. Di sabi ni Master Test, hindi ko nga po alam Sir Kiko man sentya na po. Diba? Uh, king ina... Huwag kang magmumura doon, man. Ano bang problema mo sa buhay? Then, nagkanda ka ko ng investigation doon sa channel pala ni, ni Ma'am Greenmeat. Obses na obses ka doon na parang kang tanga. Diba? Directa mo nang nakausap yung tao. I- ito, man, ha? Directa mo na nakausap si, si Ma'am Greenmeat. Tinanong mo na, hindi binigay sa'yo. Hindi ka pa ba nakakaramdam na ayaw sa'yo? Diba? Nagiging creepy ka na eh. I mean, para ka ng, ano, eh, para kang isto, itong topic natin, mga stalker eh. Pagiging stalker na yan eh. Kapag, uh, dito pa nga lang, men, uh, yes, siguro, iniisip mo, ano, para makita ni, ni Ma'am Greenmeat na ako, uh, ano ako, uh, pursigido ako. Determined na determined. <laughs> Pero hindi men, yung ano wala, unang-una ito, hindi ka naman makilala. Kasi uh, wala ka namang picture dun sa ano, malay lang ba kung sino ka. 'Di ba? Or malay mo may may pinaplano kang hindi maganda. Syempre, uh, responsibility namin 'yan bilang uh, kasamahan ni Ma'am Grimit, lalo na ako. Responsibility ko 'yan. Diba? Pagka... Come on, man. Diba? Ito yung hindi ko maintindihan talaga sa... Ano? Sa... Sa mga ano ngayon. Yung sa mga patay na patay. I mean, hindi ba ba kayo nakaramdam na... Kasi nabasa ko dun... Uh, do sa channel ni Ma'am Gil. Nang hihingi ka na pala ng contact... Uh, nang way para makontak siya. Then sinabihan ka na. Hindi naman nagiging rude yung ano yung yung tao sa iyo. Pero hindi ka ba nakakaramdam? Hindi mo ba, ba naiintindihan na ayaw? Na ayaw. <laughs> nagiging ano ka na may nagiging stalker, 'di ba? Huwag yung tutularan to mga ganitong ano tapos uh, nung nasagot ka na dun sa sa channel ni Ma'am Greenmeat, lumipat ka pa sa ibang channel. Parang gusto mo pa na ano na talagang 'di ba men? Come on. <sighs> parang creepy na talaga. Hindi parang, eh, talagang creepy na talaga 'to eh. Itong ganitong gawain, no? Yung ayan at gusto tapos anong gagawin mo pa? Dede, iintindihin kita ano. Yung yung pagko-comment mo doon kasi tiningnan ko yung mga comment mo kay Ma'am Greenmeat. Okay naman eh. Uh, admirer ka naman. Wala namang problema doon. 'Di ba? Uh, marami naman din nagsasabi doon, uh, Ma'am Greenmeat ang ganda mo, ganyan ganyan etc etc. 
walang problema doon ang ganda ng boses mo uh, pero yung uh, nagiging problema doon kasi men nang gusto mo ng ano uh, kontakin yung tao nabigyan ka na ng ano eh ng, ng sagot na na although na hindi naman sinasabi I don't know ano direct na bang sinabi mo ma'am green meat na na ayaw mo o hindi <laughs> yung yun pa lang na sinabi na ano na na wala siyang wala siyang FB or wala siyang messenger or kahit anong uh, way para kontakin. Hindi ka ba ba nakaramdam doon? Na ano na na ayaw sa iyo. Na ipipilit mo pa rin talaga. 'Di ba? Tapos okay na, pwede na matapos doon sa ano na 'yon. Lumipat ka la kapakila master test. Namimilit ka pa. Ang tigas talaga ng ulo mo. Come on. Diba? Anyway, ipagpatuloy natin tong, tong ano. Hindi na i-stress kasi ako mag ganitong tao. <laughs> yung parang ano, yung... I mean, hindi pa nakaramdam na, na ayaw sa kanya. Tapos bubulabugin lahat ng nasa community para lang sa kagaguhan na ganyan. ba? Diba? Ayan ako sila Sir MGH. Inaano na nga, nagmumura ka doon sa, sa live stream nila. ba? Diba? Buti nga hindi ka binablock eh. Kung tutuusin ka, black-black ka na eh. Binlock nyo ba to Master Tess? Or ano? Or Ma'am Green Meat? Hindi ka naman binablock eh. Kaya lang... Uh, tanggapin mo yung katotohanan na ayaw sa'yo ang tigas kasi ng ulo mo anyway, pagpatuloy na natin tong main topic na to magiging ganito ka sa itatopic natin ngayon ba? Diba? syempre, ma- may expect mo ba yung ito yung, yeah, wait lang, wait lang <laughs> ito yung nakakabwisit dito man. may expect mo ba na mapagbigyan ka eh, hindi ka nga makita kung ano itsura mo ba? Diba? Kahit dyan sa profile mo man lang, wala ka man lang video dyan na nakikita ka. Or ano, uh, kahit yung, yung picture mo man lang na mapagkakakilanlan ka na kung, kung sino ka man lang. ba diba? Wala kang ganun eh. ba diba? So, ini-expect mo na ano, na kausapin ka. Well, may mga... May mga umaano naman doon, may mga nagko-comment naman kay Ma'am Greenbit na hindi rin naman nakikita mo ka, pero hindi ganyan na parang desperado sa ano. Lakas kasi ng kamandag ni Ma'am Greenbit eh. <laughs> Ang daming ano, naapektuhan na. Pero so far, alam ko nag-comment na sa akin to once eh. Kilala niyo ba to, tong Kiko man na to? Then doon nag ano, doon nag uh, nagwala kila kila master test. At wait, uh, kapapasok na balita, ba? Diba? Nag-comment ka na yung umaga doon sa latest upload. <laughs> Ngayon, nabara ka na. Dahil doon sa ginawa mo kay, kay master test, ba? Diba? Nabara ka na. So, ito yun, sinabi mo, ang ganda-ganda mo, green meat. Then, ito na yung sinabi sa'yo. Sir, hindi ako comfortable sa mga messages mo. At hindi maganda what you did dun sa live ni Master Tess. Uh, minura mo pa. Stop asking for my contact from people. Hindi kita kilala. ba diba? Hindi pa ba malinaw to? Kailangan pa ba sabihin sa'yo? Uh, stop asking kasi hindi ako interesado sa'yo. Common sense na nang gagamitin mo dito, Manny. Eh. ba diba? Hindi naging maganda. Kaya hindi ko rin masisi yung tao kung kung nakikripihan sa iyo. Imulat mo na yung ano yung yung isipan mo na talagang ayaw. Huwag nang ipilit. <laughs> anyway, ah uh, ipagpatuloy na natin to no? Ito yung dito naman nakuha ko doon sa top 10 na na compilation yung mga stalker. Tingnan niyo aki ko man baka isa ka sa mga to. Usually mga babae yung target ano. De wait, paano ba't ba nagiging stalker ang isang tao? 
Yan ba yung mga ano, mga hindi marunong tumanggap ng rejection? Or minsan ah uh, sa sobrang hiya nila. Actually, minsan hindi pa nakausap pero yung parang parang may tililing na sunod ng sunod sa yo na siguro crush na crush mo yung isang babae parang parang hinihintay mo ikaw yung kausapin. Pwedeng ganoon eh. Or halimbawa ni reject ka na tapos uh, pupunta mo na talagang creepy. Parang anytime kikidnapin mo yung ano yung yung tao. <laughs> anyway, para maintindihan natin uh, panoorin natin to. Eight, You're about to see some of the creepiest moments ever caught on live stream. Welcome back. Charlie here. Twitch can be fun for streamers. Yung, yung picture na ititin natin sige. And viewers alike. But, but sometimes these streamers get stalked by very creepy or even dangerous people. And sometimes it even happens in their own homes. In 2020, the Twitch streamer I'm Jasmine was walking on a beach in Vietnam. But that's when this eerie man creeps up behind her. <laughs> the man looks around to make sure Kiko man yata to eh. no one is seeing what he's about to do. That's when he goes in and sniffs I'm Jasmine. Nine. Ten. <laughs> oh my god! Hindi naman stalker yun eh. Ang stalker diba hindi ka tinitigilan yung sinusundan ka lang. Ito parang nadaanan ka lang. Siguro binastos ka pero hindi. Yan ba stalker? Oh my God. That was so scary. Ito naman, sasabihin ko din naman sa mga babae. Kayo din kasi responsibility nyo rin naman kasi iyan. ba diba? hindi ko naman kayo sinisisi. Lalo na halimbawa kung, kung maganda ka ano. Alam mo dapat yung mga... dapat mong gawin sa hindi dapat. Diba? Al- al- I know, ba? Diba? Uh, nasa Pilipinas kasi tayo eh. ba? Diba? May mga bansa na na makakapaglakad ka kahit naka alam mo yun, na almost naked yung, yung ano mo. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, hindi. Hindi mo pwede gawin yan. Kahit nakaganyan ka na nga lang eh. ba? Diba? Hindi naman sa... Kasi ba diba, may debatable yan eh. Yung ba diba, yung rape ba... ay kasi usually naging controversial yung yung payo ng mga police officials before i don't know kung ano yun or sa isa, yung parang post nila sa FB na ang sinasabi uh, wag daw magsuot ng eh, gusto ko makuha yung opinion niyo doon ano uh, may kinalaman ba yung damit sa rape hindi kahit yun din are Pwede ko bang i-mention yung word na rin? <laughs> ba, may kinalaman ba yung damit sa sa pwedeng ikabastos ng babae? Kayo, kayong, kayo ang ano, kalimitan kasing ano, ang nagiging debatable to, ano eh, ang mga kumukontra dun sa ano na yun, mga babae din eh. ba diba? I know, uh, kalayaan yung isuot, yung, yung gusto nyong isuot. Ano? Pero uh, ako, naniniwala ko may kinalaman ang pagsusuot ng, ano, ng babae. Kasi nagiging, naging debatable yan before, sinasabi. Uh, nag exist daw ang, ano, ang, ang rape dahil... Ano, Dahil sa rapis. Tama? Hindi naman daw dahil doon sa suot. Dahil kahit ano daw suotin ng babae, ano, ah, uh, marirape at marirape yan kung talagang may manyak daw sa paligid. Well, tama naman yon, Tama. Kaya lang, ang binibig, pag nagsuot kasi, alibawa ganito na, nagsuot kayo ng ganyan, binibigyan nyo kasi ng ano eh, ng... I mean, pinapadali nyo yung buhay nyo. <laughs> Parang ko ba pwede sabihin yun? Hindi ko naman sinasabi binibigyan nyo ng chance. Hindi, hindi chance ang tamang term eh. Binibigyan nyo ng ano, ng motive? 
pwede ano. Kasi ano eh, parang ganito lang yan men eh. Alam ba may may ano no, meron kang may ano ka may may lagnat ka. 'Di ba? So ang cost ng lagnat mo kasi may in, may infection ka eh. Pero ang gagawin mo ah uh, lalo ka pang mag ano, lalo ka pang magkukumot. Ay, ano yan ha? Kasi may, may misconception sa, sa lagnat eh. Torotot ang torotot sa labas na yan. May misconception sa lagnat eh. Ang sabi nila kasi daw, pag nilalagnat ka, magkumot ka para pawisan ka. No. Hindi, hindi ano yun. Hindi yun yung... Kung maaari nga, dapat maligo ka eh. Pag may lagnat ka eh. Hindi tama yung ano yung... Yung magkukumot ka para pawisan ka. Hindi, hindi tama yun. Yun, yun yung gano'n na gawin natin comparison yun. Or... Halimbawa uh, Sa gasolinahan ano, Ito na lang magandang analogy Sa gasolinahan Yes uh, Hindi naman nagkukos ng, ano, ng, ng fire Na meatbusters na to eh Sabi nila diba huwag ka magsiselfone sa gasolinahan Tama uh, Kasi daw yung radiation daw ng cellphone Pwede daw maging cause ng spark At magkaroon ng apoy yun ang sinasabi nila na pwedeng mangyari. Pero napag-aralan na hindi pala ano yun, hindi totoo. O let's say, nasa gasolinahan ka, pinagbawalan ka mag-cellphone doon. Ayaw lang kasi ng gasolinahan na, ano, na magkaroon ng, ng chance na mangyari yung hindi maganda. Let's say, kahit hindi naman yun yung ano, huwag nyo nang, ano, huwag nyo nang ipilit. Kung talagang bawal mag-cellphone sa gasolinahan, huwag nyo nang gawin. Lalo na pag binagbawalan kayo kasi unang-una wala namang mapapala yung establish ng establishment ng ano eh doon sa pagsi-cellphone mo eh kahit na mag-cellphone ka doon eh. Kaya lang ayaw lang magkaroon ng ng opportunity para doon sa nagigits si ibig ko sabihin ng hindi. Ano bang magandang analogy diyan? Nebas sa magigits niyo sana no, wala nga namang kinalaman yung suot. Kaya lang ah wag niyo bigyan ng nang tukso yung nakakita lalo. 'Di ba? Parang pinapadali niyo yung ano eh. Yung yung pagde-decide ng rapist eh. <laughs> Nagigits niyo ba ibig ko sabihin? 'Di ba na napipigil-pigilan niya pa tapos biglang ano niya. Anyway, pagpatuloy natin. Did I just sniff me? <laughs> The creepy man had been following her for some time. And he ah, took it all off by sniffing her on camera. Little did he know that thousands of people were watching him do this at the time. May mga manyak. May, may kukwento ako sa inyo. <laughs> may kukwento ako sa inyo. Uh, nahiram ako sa Robinson Supermarket before. Kasi kailangan nila ng manager doon. Nag-leave yung manager. E peak season. Di ano. Yung hiya ako min. Sobrang hiya ako nun tayo na ganito kasi nangyari. ba diba, do sa, sino nang ano sa'yo sa Robinson's Ermita? Robinson's, ba diba, sa tabi-tabi nun may mga condo, ba diba, may mga hotels. Eh dun sa mismong ano, sa mismong Robinson's Place, may condo na malapit dun eh. Nakalimutan ko na yung name nung, nung condo. Diba sa kadikit nung mall. So pagka may nag-grocery dun sa Robinson Supermarket, Uh, uh, pwede kaming maghatid ng ano ng yung pinamili diretso dun sa condo unit eh may bumili na sexy bumili ng <laughs> bumili shh huwag yung, huwag yung kwento to ah <laughs> may bumiling sexy ano tapos hinatid nung isang personal namin ngayon Uh, okay naman bumal- bumalik na yung ano. Ngayon pinatawag ako ng ano ng ng mall admin. Kakausapin daw ako. Ano ako kakausapin nito tungkol daw sa isang sa isang customer. Ngayon, curious na curious ano ba yung problema noon? Ano ba yun? bastos ba yung ano? Ang unang inisip ko hinipuan yung customer. Ngayon, Pumunta ako, pinanood sa akin CCTV. Sa elevator, di, di hinatid na yung babae, ano, sa elevator. 
nagsarili. <laughs> Abang pinapanood ko nakaganyan ako dun sa ano, ano ba naman to ako? Tapos ano, ang, ang ginawa ko, hindi na ako humarap dun na, nahihiya din ako para dun sa, dun sa dicer eh. Pinatawag ko si, ano, si, si O1. Ang, ang code kasi nung admin officer namin, O1. Ikaw nang bahala dyan. Ayoko nang, ayoko nang kausapin yung ganyan. <laughs> ikaw na yung ano, ikaw nang bahala dyan. Tapos ano, uh, nung, nung kinausap ko, ano ba naisip mong animal ka? Bakit yun yung ginawa? Akala ko kasi hinipuan. Okay lang sana ako hinipuan. Eh. Okay lang. Pero yung nag, nag ano ka sa... Il- Pa, may, ma, medyo mabagal-bagal kasi elevator nung mga time na yun eh, siguro. Siguro sapat yun time. Akala niya walang... Bihira talaga pag uh, dinalaw ka ng ano kung saan-saan lugar eh. Grabe yun, man. Talagang nag-ano siya dun sa elevator. <laughs> Pinatawag ako, mabihira. Next! Ayoko nang maalala. <laughs> Jasmine laughed it off, but it's clear she was very uncomfortable and scared. But sadly for I'm Jasmine, this was not the only time she was stalked on stream. On a separate stream, I'm Jasmine is sitting eating lunch out in the street. It's in public in broad daylight. That's when a man comes up and begins to touch her without asking her consent. Oh, oh hi. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, why are you touching me? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> ah, ano ano? to. Oh, no, oh man, stop. I'm sorry. No. Okay siya, tapos umalis na. Pero oh. She laughs very uncomfortably and tells him to stop touching her. But the man does not listen. That's when things get even worse. The man begins to try and touch her inappropriately. He's so No, whoa, 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 man, stop. 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 Japan? Yo, stop Japan, it. No, no, no just, don't, just don't touch it. Bye. Bye. Jasmine gets visibly annoyed and tells him to stop many times. But the man does nothing but laugh. It's in public and no one even stops this man. Jasmine tries to get away, but the man won't stop following her. After 10 minutes of being stalked, Jasmine enters a stall. And thankfully, after that, the man finally leaves. But the moment she leaves the store and goes to the other side of the road, another man approaches her. He gets out of his car specially to talk to Jasmine. Jasmine says she's going home and does not want to talk to this mga taglibs yung mga tao dito ah. <laughs> Sky. According to Jasmine, this is a common occurrence. Later on in the stream, she begins to cry because she's so traumatized by the events. She says it's common for people to touch her weirdly or harass her in the street. Ah, Japan nga. Little Osaka oh. Ganyan pala sa Japan. It's clear she's had enough and has reached breaking point. It happens so much. It's like people like literally harass me in the streets and I'm like... It's important that if we ever see this kind of thing in the street, we speak up and stop it from happening. But sadly, I'm Jasmine is not the only female streamer who has been stalked on stream. A similar thing happened to a streamer known as... Ang, ang hindi ko maganda, ang hindi ko maintindihan kasi minsan. Uh, alam mo yun, uh, nagpapaganda ka, tapos pag ginanyan ka. Hindi ko naman sinasabi dapat ganunin ka, no? Siyempre may iisipin mo din dapat may mga mag-iisip sa iyo na hindi maganda sa paligid mo. Kaya nga dapat maging conscious din kasi kayo eh. Amaranth. Amaranth was streaming her workout one day at the gym. That's when a man begins to visibly check her out. Sige, mag-gym pa kayo. 'Di ba? live on stream. The man stares at her very creepily for a few seconds, even though Amaranth expresses no interest in this man. <laughs> thousands of people are watching what he's doing. But this isn't even the creepiest thing to happen to this streamer. One day Amaranth was IRL streaming her supermarket shop. A man can be seen on his phone in the background. But watch closely and you will be shocked at what happens next. The man takes a photo of Amaranth with the flash on. 
The man clearly messed up and didn't realize he had his flash and sound turned on. He then tries to play it off by taking photos of products on a shelf. <laughs> Awkward. Amaranth did not see what had happened, but Baka naman yung product naman talaga yung ano, yung pinipicture ni Kuya. The thousands of viewers clearly did. Taking these creep shots is very wrong. Not only is it insanely creepy, it's a massive violation of privacy. But unfortunately, this is a problem many women have to deal with around the world. Now, let's look at another very scary stalker caught on live stream. But thankfully, this clip has a good ending. An Australian man named Rob CD was streaming his life in Tokyo. As he's streaming, he notices a woman and a man walking together. At first, he imagines they're a couple, but that's when he realizes something is seriously wrong. The woman keeps giving him a look as if to say, help me. Ah, uh, parang ano, uh, victim yung babae, ano? What's wrong? The woman then says Rob is her friend. Rob then tells the man that he's a friend of this girl despite not knowing her. He read the situation perfectly and realized that the woman was being stalked by the- Ang galing, ang galing, 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 galing nung ano. Uh, so, ang istorya nito, uh, nilapitan siya ng babae. Tapos sinabi ng babae friend siya para iwan siya nitong ano, nitong sumusunod sa kanya. Realizes something is seriously wrong. The woman keeps giving him a look as if to say, help me. And she also walks towards Rob. The woman then says Rob is her friend. Rob then tells the man that he's a friend of this girl despite not knowing her. He read the situation perfectly and realized that the woman was being stalked by this man. Rob tries to tell the man to go away, but he won't leave. Oh. My friend. Hi. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Have a good night, man. Hi. See you. Where from? Australia. Australia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have a good night, yeah. man. So, oh, uh, now is it fair? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. The girl is clearly very nervous and scared, but Rob's simple and heroic actions saved the day. Always be on the lookout if someone looks uncomfortable in the street. Just because they're with a man doesn't mean they're a couple. The woman could be getting stalked just like in this case. But I also have to mention a very scary and dangerous stalker caught live <laughs> on Twitch. This happened to a streamer named Elia Gatto. She was walking around with a friend on the street, but that's when they notice a creepy man is following them on the street. <laughs> if that wasn't bad enough, this man <laughs> has <laughs> a sword. Oh god! Oh god! Uh, let's go find your husband! Let's go your husband! Let's go your husband! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why? <laughs> they try to go down different streets, but the man won't stop following them. Thankfully, a man notices their situation at one point and steps in. But even with the guy helping them, the man with the samurai sword won't stop following them. Eventually, the good Samaritan calls the cops. This guy went to say, so, I've seen that this guy is following us and he's telling us to run to the hospital. <laughs> The man with the sam- parang hindi local siya doon, ano? Itong babae. Samurai sword is soon stopped by police. But it disturbs me how little people came to these women's rescue. They were clearly scared and maybe even in danger. If the man with the sword was not arrested, who knows what could have happened. There's a very good possibility these girls could have been injured or even had their lives taken <laughs> by this man. Now, on, we have to look at this very scary clip. In 2020, a streamer named Sushi Potato came across three fans. The fans said Sushi. they wanted to take a photo with her, but it turns out what they really wanted was a lot more sinister. She was wearing a low-cut top, so put her hand over her chest. But that's when the men demand she moves her hand. She refuses, no, no, and that's man. when they begin to touch her and try and get her to move her hand. No, I'm not taking my hand off. No, I'm not taking my hand off. Hell no. Stop it. No. These can pagka stress na naman ako. Hindi na ka-stress kasi yan tapos hindi mo matulungan ano. Tapos 
Tapos feeling nyo pa mga babae, kaya ang kaya nyo pa. No? Fans are incredibly creepy and way overstepping the line. In 2021, Sushi Potato is talking to a random man on the street. The man asks where she's from and basic facts about her. But that's when things go seriously wrong. The man begins to touch her inappropriately. She gets upset and tells him to go away. Thankfully, she has water to throw at the man to make him back off. This situation easily could have got dangerous or even worse. The scary thing is, the man knew he was being filmed, but didn't even care. It's terrifying what can happen to a woman on a street late at night. But sometimes, Twitch streamer stalkers take things to another level. Take a look at this haunting clip from streamer JD Ann. While streaming live, she gets a phone call from her stalker. At first, the stalker pretends to be her father on the phone, but he then goes on to say that he's not her father. The stalker then says if she doesn't remove her clothing, he will take her father's life. JD Ann is visibly scared and confused. Later on, JD Ann explained the stalker was verbally abusing her on the phone. Jade quickly called her father to make sure he was safe, and thankfully he was. She then called the police to report this stalker. Hopefully, the call can be traced. But this is not the first time Jade has been stalked live on stream. One time, a stalker sent to her house. And another time, the fire department was called to her house. That's because a stalker wrongfully called up and said her house was on fire. It's terrifying that someone who simply streams games would have such evil stalkers. Jade tries to make people smile with her streams. And in return, she gets stalked and swatted. Now, I have to include this clip from the late great streamer, Rectful. One day, Rectful was walking down the street in Japan. That's when he notices something strange behind him. There's a creepy masked man following him on the street. Wait, he turned. Wait, he turned. Sinong dun pa rin siya oh. No matter where Rectful walks, the man seems to follow him. He even turns around various times, and so does the man. At this point, Rectful realizes the man is absolutely following him, so he begins to run. That's when the man begins to chase after Rectful. Eventually, Rectful yells at the man and asks him what he's doing. I'm running. Man! You know me? Why did you do that? Thankfully, the man in the mask later said it was simply a prank and he's a fan of Rectful. But even so, this is a very scary and nasty prank to play. Thankfully, it was simply fun and games. But as we've already seen here, sometimes streamers can be harassed by dangerous people. I can only imagine what Rectful was thinking in this moment. Prank. Finally, Hello. let's look at this clip from a Singaporean streamer named Kiera Kitty. Kiera Kitty is filming herself one day on a train, but that's when a man in front of her begins shaking his behind in her face. Kiera is clearly very creeped out by this, but the man only responds in a rude way. This man is way bigger and stronger than Kiera, and it's very wrong for him to behave in this way. Oh, much harder, no man, ang ano yon? Ini invade yung space niya, no? No one steps in to help Kiera here. I made this video to hopefully inspire some of you guys to step in if you see something like this happening in your oh, life. Oh, yes, yes. Even just pretending to be someone's friend and stepping in could save their life or prevent them from being touched inappropriately, like we saw in this video. No one deserves the terrible treatment these people got. Pero siempre ang pag-iingat ay nasa mismong may katawan din. Kaya nga sinasabi ko sa inyo, wag matigas ang ulo. 'Di ba? Wag niyo isipin na laging kaya niyo. Basic naman 'yan eh. 'Di ba? Hindi ko naman sinasabi weak yung yung mga babae, kaya lang 'di ba? Papatayin niyo sa pag-aalala yung mga tao na na ano sa inyo eh. 
Anyway, ano masasabi nyo dito sa na-content natin? Yun lang, maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Ito na ang oras para lumaban Huwag kang umatras, huwag nasa kapwiran Panatilihing bukas ang sipan Katotohana